I'm delighted to have with me today on Screening Room a man named James Broughton. Uh, he's been in film for, what, 30 years? 30 years. In fact, uh, 1977 must be a kind of uh, anniversary for you, isn't it, as far as your first film is well, concerned? Well, the, uh, the very first film experience I had was in actually 1946, uh -huh. uh, made with a man named Sidney Peterson in San Francisco. We never realized we were starting a whole movement. We just went out to amuse ourselves, and uh, suddenly in the post-war, excitement of everybody being able to be artists again yeah. we were caught up in it right i i remember something about the origins of that film because i knew sydney shortly thereafter uh, when he came up to seattle uh, he you made a film called potted Sam. right that was the potted and Som. but it started out as a play didn't it james uh, <laughs> yes uh, uh, he had come to see a play of mine in fact that's how we met and he liked it very much, and he said, uh, why don't we collaborate? And... On a new play, you mean? On or, a new play, yeah. yes, a new play. And there was some sort of crazy uh, comedy on the home life of Tolstoy. I mean, that was the origin. Mm -hmm. We transferred it to California and so on. Well, what happened is that <clears throat> uh, Sidney Peterson is as much of an inventive person as I am, and the more we went collaborating, the more our ideas went in opposite directions. Yeah. But we wanted to do something together. And one day he said, why don't we make a movie instead? And he hadn't done anything before that, you mean? Well, he, he knew more about how to operate the camera than uh -huh. I. That's all yeah, I, I right. could say. Honestly. Well, it's a marvelous <laughs> film. We're not going to see it today, <laughs> no. but it, it is a wonderful. It's also a wonderful title, but you, all your films have wonderful titles. And it seems to me that when you said that you were in San Francisco to amuse yourselves, uh, getting into art, you've been in San Francisco amusing others for a long time. In fact, that's a characteristic of your work, which is often kind of cited as the sort of main, uh, or one of the main um, mm. sort of meanings of what you're doing, that you're trying to um, bring humor to um, life or bring out the humor of life. Is that? Oh, I accurate. Guess, uh, I guess so. Um, that is, I don't do it consciously. I'm just, the world amuses me immensely. Mm -hmm. And uh, I find the whole human comedy so delicious. The human comedy turns out to be the human tragedy often, I suppose. Sure, but the subject matter of comedy is tragedy. All terrible things are happening to mm -hmm. people. But it's the angle of it, the point of view, mm -hmm. really, that makes the difference. You hit over the head with something horrible, you can look at it tragically. Mm -hmm. or, or anyway, that's just uh, my way of yeah. seeing. Or you can look at it puckishly, I yes, suppose. Uh, yes, uh, uh, what fools we all are. Yeah. Folly is the real human dimension. But you're also celebrating life, uh, oh. aren't you, James? Uh, I like best of all to make celebrations, to honor uh, persons, events, or the mysteries of life that fascinate me. Uh, all of my work is celebration, really. Mm -hmm. 